What's up my friends and welcome back. Epic has been pretty busy lately behind the scenes, creating extremely cool stuff for us and working to make Fortnite better and better every single day. Today, I've got for you guys some future crew pack leaks, news on leaked icon emotes, summer events, and so much more. But before we jump directly into the news, make sure to comment a nail emoji for the algorithm, as you'll soon find out why in the third topic of this video. But without further ado, let's get directly into it. Crew packs. If you've been anywhere on social media lately or watched my previous video, you'll know that the Triarch Knox skin is the next crew pack for April. This guy is set to release later on today, as the new crew packs typically release on the last day of the month. Now, in the most recent update, we figured out that over in Mega City, there's two posters that tease the next upcoming crew packs after April, which of course would be May and June. If you drop it to Mega City, you'll now find these two posters scattered all around the city. Now, of course, we know the first poster. That is going to be Nox, and that's going to be the April crew pack releasing later on today. So it definitely does make sense that these two other wanted posters would definitely be the next upcoming crew packs after this one for May and June. Not gonna lie, these are insanely cool and I don't know if you guys have taken a look at the survey skins recently, but these two actually do in fact match. Now, it's not confirmed which one will come out first, but I'm extremely excited for these to come out, especially this guy right here. He looks straight out of an anime such as Jujutsu Kaisen or possibly even Demon Slayer, but what do these look like to you guys? Spray Skins Finally, we have some confirmation on the spray skins, Caper and Elias. We could finally see them arrive inside the item shop soon, as the most wanted sections have now been added back to the API in the most recent update. So hopefully they will include these much desired brand new skins. Now, one question for you guys, what spray are you guys most looking forward to using on these skins? I definitely have to go with the Midas' spray, but man, there are so many to choose from, and so many different ways to customize these skins, which I'm sure is why they are extremely sought after. Brand new emo. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, a brand new icon emote was accidentally leaked by Epic Games. No surprise. A picture of the emote teaser gained popularity over on Twitter relatively fast, and I'm sure you guys can see why. Some people think it could be a K-pop emote, while others think it could be a TikTok viral song, which actually could be Made You Look by Megan Trainer. But it was indeed coded and double take inside the file, so it could be something else. What do you guys think this emote could actually be for? Whatever it may be, this screenshot definitely looks zesty. Slay! Zero build. For some reason, Epic has decided to make Zero Build an individual download. They have separated to be available to download on the Epic Game Store all by itself away from Fortnite. It's likely just for people who want to purely play Zero Build and not download the entire full game of Fortnite, which is pretty good to actually save some storage space. Not even gonna lie, when I do play on my laptop, it does actually sound like a spaceship. So if this becomes real, I might have to try this to see if it even makes a difference. I'll let you guys know. I'm curious to see if you guys would try the exact same thing though. Are you guys a Zero Build type of player, or do you prefer the standard better real build type? Let me know in the comments below. Fortnite Hotfix Fortnite Assist tweeted out the experimental percentage of test players for Discovery player count has been increased from 0% to 10%. Epic is currently starting to roll this test out to show how many players are playing on a map. He says this feature can show you how many players are playing a certain game mode, as well as how many people are currently playing in that specific game mode. Hypex also talked about this and he gave some stats on the current popularity of Fortnite. See if it surprises you guys. Summer Skins I've talked about this a few weeks ago, but there's actually some more news on these brand new skins. Epic is now working on another version of the Arisa skin, codenamed Racket. They started working on her in the 24.0 update, and in the 24.10 update, they've even since added a brand new back bling and a pickaxe to her skin bundle. She will most likely be coming in the summertime, as this is a summer-themed skin. Another skin they have been working on is the Summer Mousicle skin, aka Red from Good Mythical Morning. He is being worked on right now, and of course, most likely for summer as well, as he of course, well, looks like a summer skin. There wasn't any cosmetics added, but don't let that fool you, as I'm sure he will also be coming out as well at some point. Epic has also started working on a Summer Chaos Agent, codenamed Mastermind Summer. He will also have a back bling and a pickaxe. Koi Cosmetics some interesting skins called Koi Cosmetics will be part of a real money bundle codenamed Koi Kingdom. These Koi Fish style survey skins are most likely also coming out as well, as Chapter 4 Season 2 is pretty much designed around the Japanese type aesthetic. These skins are absolutely perfect and make the most sense to release this season, as Koi Fish are symbolic in Japanese culture. A Koi version of Chigusa, Envoy, and Zero, aka the Zero Point skin, are in the works as well, so definitely stay tuned for that as well. Brand new skins Epic Games is working on. Lexa is getting another style. We originally thought this was going to be a brand new crew skin, but it is likely that it'll just be another style called the Earl Grey version, probably in a future update. Epic has also started working on a Lumi slash gelatin version of Torin and Black Knight. 
just like the recent Luby Jelly skin, so it will actually match that, like, you know, aesthetic. This matches up absolutely perfectly with the Kumi Torin in the Fortnite surveys. Speaking of brand new styles, Sloan will be getting a brand new one as well. It's been quite a while since we heard or talked about Sloan since that, well, incident that happened back at the Collider. I mean, she did get crushed by the mech, so she could be live, I don't know. She'll be receiving a brand new skin soon that will include a back bling, outfit, as well as a pickaxe. This could also be potentially the first look at Chapter 4 Season 3. I think we're definitely going to be seeing her more in the future updates. Drum Shotguns and Reinforced Walls The Drum Shotguns and the Reinforced Walls will soon be unvaulted. Drum Shotguns have gotten data to spawn in display cases, and Reinforced Walls have also gotten data to spawn in the new vaults and supply drops. So when you pick them up, they will be in stacks of 4 instead of 5. Who is excited for these two items to make a full comeback? Man, am I getting the Pit LTM flashbacks. I remember people being so toxic with this gun. Yeah, not looking forward to this one. The Saturn LTM do you guys remember this leaked image that looks exactly like a brand new game of Fortnite? Well, we did finally get some new info on this, and it turns out it is likely scrapped. No surprise. People have been asking me for the past several months about this exact same LTM, so I figured I'd let you guys know of its unfortunate demise. Update on the Overwatch Spray as we all know, Epic hired an artist that traced exactly over the well-known spray in Overwatch. Well, it turns out in this update, they have actually changed it to look a little bit different, so Epic can finally release it. But do you guys think this guy actually got in trouble for copying Overwatch on Fortnite's behalf? Because I think he probably got fired. Teaser update. I'm pretty sure this is turning out to be an April Fool's joke over on Fortnite France, but I guess we'll let you guys speculate over in the comments below. Tiger Root. Tiger Root has gotten data for creative challenges this update, likely with this wrap as a free reward. So we're unsure if this Tone of the Tiger skin will be the actual skin for this bundle. Last but not least, Island Mansion Point of Interest. Jeep Matrix Games says, interesting note, Epic is working on an Island Mansion Point of Interest under the work in progress map of Demeter. Now we are starting to think this could be for Chapter 4, Season 4, so we'll let you guys know in a future video if this is indeed true. So with that being said, that's all I have for you guys in today's Fortnite video. Per usual, if you want to support the channel, make sure you guys drop a like on today's video and comment the nail polish emoji for the algorithm in today's video. Thanks so much for the support. Use code HAPPY inside the Ford Up Shop, and we'll see you guys next time. Entombed in my mind, can't seem to break away. Lost in time, thinking about better days.